really interesting. Um, wow. Yeah, really interesting how he considered the bullet so heavily because people just under bluff and he's born at all tournaments. It's really, really interesting. Um, yeah, I mean, what are his bluffs? You know, like, if we really think about it, like, uh, sure, Ace High, like, Ace High has some showdown value if he had Ace 5. And when he raises the turn with maybe some backdoor diamond draw or something like that, he actually gets called in on this kind of board. Like, what what hands do you have with your folding? Um, and it's going to have some misdraws and things, too. So I think calling is the only option myself. Let's see if Boogaloo uh, got away from it. Ooh, call a six. So this is close between call. Really interesting. So call a six, raise a 7,500 is 10 points. And I'm going to say he said that because this is a very bad player. And so he thinks the very bad player is going to stack off here with worse queens a lot. I'm going to guarantee you that's what he's going to say. Very interesting, though. I thought call for sure was the right answer. I never am in this spot. I, just, I don't know. Um, interesting spot, too. I, I think this is a little bit of a lesson for everyone out there, too. A lot of times, the hands we want to flow with, like this one, are better as, as raises. So this kind of falls in that category. Yeah, and he was kind of an echo chamber for us there, saying, you know, we just get better hands to call and worse people. Yep. Like, he's going to have some gut shots in his hands. He's going to have spades draws. He's going to have King X. And we kind of know, I mean, we kind of identify kind of what cards are going to be bad for us on future streets. And we, we, we're aware how to proceed on those cards. Absolutely. So, yeah, that's a very good point. You right, you right, you right. You right. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best. You didn't say anything. You won. Just, yeah. just straight out. This you won. I, I, I just, yeah, I'm just, I'm just, all right, so ooh, look at this. You're not opening this. <laughs> <laughs> you just looked at this. You're not opening Button this. Button cut off, high deck, low jack. End of the gun one. You are. Come on now. Okay. I am. <laughs> so let's see if he. <laughs> He's got to open it or there wouldn't be a hand. <laughs> You, yeah, you I'm already down on points. Dude. You're already down on points in real life. Now, obviously, you're gonna cheat, but I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna evolve. <laughs> you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna adapt, right? <laughs> All right, let's play. I'm going to cry if he says he's folding here. <laughs> like, if he's like, yeah, you should be folding this in this kind of tournament, and you're actually right. All right, cool. Wah, wah. Ah! Yes. I just want to say for the record that this is the best three point score I've ever gotten in my life. Because the right answer was fold. The right answer. <laughs> but you heard what you said yes. about the tables. This is a 3K. Here comes the excuses. 10 the points excuses fold. To it open. Says right if your here. table is particularly tight and weak, welcome to the $5 2K world. I mean, you know, the $11 10K. I'm opening this. Yeah, for sure. This is the best <laughs> three points of my life. Oh, uh, that's hilarious. Uh, and everybody's full Nailed it. What the hell kind of play is that from King Queen? Who in the <laughs> Who does that? Who the, the hell? hell? <laughs> uh, yeah, so that dog. Jonathan Little is an absolute crusher, so it's nice to have him. Yeah, I agree, and I He's always love coaching. playing right after sessions like this because I feel like my, my brain's warmed up. I'm thinking through things, and, and so it's a good way to start your session for sure. All right, All right guys, this is it. What's up, you want to give a gist? He was saying Narco Cop was playing about, de-pipping about 28% of hands. He had been very aggressive in this uh, $10 buy-in, and here are the options to fold, to call, to raise the 1200 raise the what? Wait a minute, he made it 800, and my man's given options of 12 and 1400 ammo. So yep. it's already getting uh, kind of spicy. Here. That's so nasty. To be on a site with these other crushers, you know, well-known poker public figures is pretty exciting, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I didn't mention that when I was kind of giving a little intro here too. You know, Assassinato, Matt Affleck, John Little, um, all coaches on the site, so very highly respectable. Quality poker content. Yep, Evan Jarvis as well, you know, remember Evan Jarvis, Matt Affleck, Assassinato, John Little.
Uh, so I guess that just makes sense. He just had the ace of clubs in his hand. That's interesting, though. I, I thought mean, that was interesting. You, you, you didn't do that bad. 45. I like how you just pat me on the back. You didn't do that bad. Well, yeah, good job, buddy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the back. I, I, remember I got the higher score in the first one. I got the higher score in the first one. So, you know, <laughs> we're one for one, buddy. I just want to know. I'm calling, guys. <laughs> Let's see if we're good. Similar situation. Pre -flop? I think it's pretty good. Alright guys, we're checking that there. Oh my fuck. When you're facing a min raise or just a touch more than a min raise and there's an anti in play, which is gonna be the case in most tournaments I think going forward, you want to defend pretty wide. If your opponent's making a two all right, cool. Uh, you're going 1400? I'm going 1400, guys. I'm gonna go call with the arm and just scrap. All right, and ready I would fold in game, though, for the record, in case that's the <laughs> for winning it. Uh, you won. <laughs> you win. I, 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 I have to concede. You win. 14K. Uh, 14K, let's do it. Let's do it. Well, no, we can't win. <laughs> this is a pretty rough spot because. Damn it! <laughs> mm hmm. Where do you go get my chat? <laughs> get my chat. They like, they like, they like naughty things. They like just beer. Alcohol, you know. All right, let's do a. Food. I can do a ten dollar ACR giveaway. A ten dollar ACR giveaway, courtesy of my man Toe, for me beating that ass heads up <laughs> in this. Sorry, <laughs> no, I'm we'll do this. We'll do. We'll have to do it at least once a week, man. And then you know, uh, I'll, I'll, we'll do Come it. We'll back. do it every week a couple times. So it's tie. I guess we got to give out ten bucks to each, to each other's communities. <laughs> We'll just do our own ten ten dollar free roll for each. Or is that does that sound fair? Yes. Do you know what this means? You win. I give his chat ten bucks. Take it. You so that's cool because animal. we have two ties and then a win from you and a win from me. This is like the epic battle. It's perfect. It's great. <laughs> yeah, we're we're, we're even Steven. This is awesome. Take it. I love it. You know who stop. We got a giveaway going. Let's run the giveaway for the ten dollar ACR winner. Closing the giveaway. Drawing the winner, my man. Sebs are getting ten dollars ACR giveaway for this one. Me for the first time in three weeks. I haven't been here in weeks. I've missed you guys. It's game time and fucking good morning. What up, guys? Toe in the house. What up, my man? What's up? 2023. I have my first issue. Couldn't <laughs> find the damn scene. You're talking. I couldn't come off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what up, Carter? How you doing, bro? He said movie star. Nah. If you watched it, uh, you know, I had a few parts in it, but not too much speaking. Good times, though. That shit was fun 2023, as hell. 2023, where Six is and the guy, the little Asian kid from Goonies wins a Golden Globe. Or a <laughs> That'd be funny as hell. Uh. All right. Uh, what up, guys? Back after a few weeks, but you know what time it is. It's study stream time. Um. We'll just be chilling, kicking it, guys. Uh, so you guys know the drill. Um, so get Back. the poker coachings in the chat, my chat or Toast chat. We'll pick somebody uh, to compete for five bucks from each stream. So, yep, uh, we'll pick a quiz. Poker coachings in the chat. I'm sure I'm griefing something. So uh, we'll take a look at that. 
Nope. Do you actually there. pay out if you win? People are saying you don't pay out. What? I'm pretty sure I'm caught up and don't owe anybody a fucking thing. So I don't know what you're talking about, the spirit. They're probably talking about me. I I could have easily missed somebody. And if that's the case, just hit me up. It took me several um, weeks. There was one time it took or it me definitely a takes week or time. two. But every other time, I do it on the fly because I don't want to forget. So You heard wrong, sucker. I don't owe anybody shit. <laughs> Get in there. What up, guys? What up, Grind Time, Baby Doug? What's good? What up, Stu? Toe Army, I missed you guys. What up, fam? I'm hungover. I'm a little hungover right now, so mm. please excuse me. Put cuts in the chat for you to get in on a quiz. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there, and I will pay you your money. <laughs> oh shit! How's everybody Tell doing, just man? Make fun of you while raging on stream. That's extra money. That'll cost you extra. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. What quiz should we do while we're waiting? Um, I mean, anything above 1857 is pretty much open. Oh, shit, I didn't put out my tweet. I was going to use the Mike Tyson punch-out thing. Yes. Damn, like, Bang. there's no new Affleck quizzes, which is crazy. What the fuck? Yep. Also, guys, uh, if you are poker coaching <laughs> members that are in the Discord, I'm just making an announcement uh, now and probably towards the end of the stream. Uh, this upcoming week uh, is going to be kind of special. We're going to have a few guests in the study groups. Oh, on Tuesday, in the Cash Game study group that I host, we're going to have Brad Wilson joining us. Um, so it'll be fun. You don't have to be a member of PC to be in the Discord. You can just join uh, the Discord and come. It's free, man. It's fucking chill. It's free. Uh, and we just try to get better. So... You're more than welcome to join if you're out there and you're interested in this kind of stuff. You don't have to participate. You can alert. Um, we're just trying to provide value to you guys for supporting us. So there's a Discord <laughs> link if you're interested in my chat. Uh, so yeah, there check it the out. Discord link in my chat as well. Uh, yeah, it was a crazy night, Hollywood. It was a crazy oh, night, man. I had Ryan the Plant and two of my eleven dollar buy-ins, and then I had Affleck joining the home game just to try and get me. It was the funniest thing, too, because he opened the cutoff in the frost. I three-bet him with kings, and then he starts talking shit like he always does. Toey, toey, toey. <laughs> but then I fuck around. I'm down to take this to the streets. Then, a few hands later, I have queens, and he's in the same position, and he opens, and I three-bet him. And then I realized that wasn't the same tournament. It was the home game. I was like, wait, what the fuck? Affleck's in the $3 home game. <laughs> what the fuck? That's funny. It was like playing fucking in the Poker Go Studios last night in the $11 fields, guys. It was crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I was saying as well, uh, we also have Michael Astavato joining the Wednesday uh, study group, which Luis hosts. Um, and I may get somebody in our Thursday group, uh, the MTT group that I host. So, yep, Brad Wilson on Tuesday, the invites in there. Um, I will change the uh, thing in the events, but yeah. Um, but yeah, get in there um, and get in this uh, chat uh, poker goes, uh, poker go, you got me saying, poker coaching in chat. Um, but yep, I'm ready to draw, pick Speaking a quiz. Poker go, Coach Aram Zorbian taking down a tournament last night in the poker go studios. They're killing it over there. Yeah, all the fucking poker go coaches Justin are hit having. 300, fucking Aram, Aram hits for 225. 206, but yep. Should follow these cats on Instagram, man. Their stories are great. See the lifestyles. All right, let's pick one. Uh, uh, we can start with 1888. 42. 42. Good God. What the fuck? What's crazy is there's no Affleck quizzes from 42 up. Sheesh. They don't have any content from him. All right, Ace 9 0, <laughs> facing an all in. I mean, yep. how hard can this be? Snap it if you're in late position. Fuck it. Oh, all I right. I didn't realize it was facing all in. I hope it's not a one question quiz. If it's a one question yeah. quiz. And then we'll probably just roll it into a second quiz. Dude, it's, I mean, it's facing an all in. Turn it, let's see, if whatever, fuck it. Um, we're already here. All right, we're already here. I'm ready to roll it whenever you are, my friend. Ascension coming in off the BOL streets and into the study stream. Hey, uh, Grind Time Baby says, Uber Noob sent me this way. What a beast. Cat's been uh, solid as hell in the streets and consistent for a long time. Mad respect to Uber Noob. Former Team Toe member. Yeah, he's he's very consistent. I'm a big fan. 
Uh, Stu won the giveaway over here, and we'll be competing for the Mafia. I see you, champ. Good luck, man. Garments. Unger. Is he in his Unger garments? <laughs> You're drawing that. Let's go. Uh, let's roll it. Let's uh, get into the quizzes. Let's do it, guys. We have the Good ace, luck. nine, offsuit, 30 big blinds, deep, eh, actually a little bit shorter because everybody else is shallower oh, than us, six. in the hijack seat. Should we fold, call, raise to 12,000, or raise to 18,000? <clears throat> Congrats, Joey. Took down a live daily on Friday for 2400 nice. Dude, you know what happened? Our Joey? Joey, yeah, MTTR. Yeah, our jo Oh, Dude, congrats, bro. crazier happened. I fucking ran like crazy shit last night. Tanked all of my tournaments, and the home game still had like 60 people left. I'm done so I was like, the game. fuck am I going to do? So I played 25, 50 cent fucking cash. That's <laughs> not on global. And then I started getting DMs because one of the people at my table was streaming on a different channel. And people saw me sitting at the cash table and thought my account got hacked. So I started getting a bunch of concerned DMs to someone sitting at the cash table in your screen name. That's funny as hell. Uh, and I won. <clears throat> Were you playing 6 Max? Yeah. Oh. Six max. Yeah, I had a I'm couple hands. Of I actually didn't mark them. I should have brought them on Tuesday. <clears throat> um, uh, we're opening. Uh, wait, wait a minute. We're not opening. Carter's opening, and Stu's in the tank. Congratulations, Todd. I played cash happy. since the Orleans cash. with Justin. Literally, I played one. You should come to the group, man. It's we talked like so much. Two years, bro. I've studied like so much cash every week. I'm in there for fucking three, four hours <laughs> studying cash. <laughs> <clears throat> that shit was funny. Everybody going 12k. I mean, it's yep, twelve k right? here for Stu as well. Um, you're a nit bitch if you fold this. Let's open it and move on. This is just a very standard <clears throat> spot to raise. If we were playing, let's say, yeah, twenty twenty five big blinds deep in the hijack. Let's see, twenty five big blinds deep in the hijack. You see, Ace Nine raises every time. If we're even shallower, you see, still gonna raise every time, right? If you think you're gonna get jammed on a lot, perhaps you don't want to raise like Ace Eight, Ace Seven. Queen six, queen seven, king five, seven six suited. You know, you could probably fold those hands, but ace nine's a hand I'm going to raise pretty much every time in the spot. It's not a great hand; it doesn't play especially well. But uh, oh, we didn't get jammed on pre. Such is life. All your hands, you don't have to play amazingly well. What some people do very wrong, by the way, is they wait until they have like just a really, really easy spot. So they fold out all of these hands. They fold out these hands. They fold out all this stuff. And yeah, they have easy spots whenever they play. The problem is, is that they just don't get to play all that many spots, and that results in them blinding out. So don't do that. <clears throat> Flop comes 10, Ten nine, 9, 8, and eight. the opponent checks. Uh -oh. Should we check, bet 12,000, bet 24,000, or bet 36,000? C bet or no, ace, nine, eight, uh, second pair. getting interesting. Yeah, this this one's interesting. So, are we c betting or Najee? Where are you guys at? What do you think? Twelve, twelve, twelve streaming in the chat right now. C bet uh, for Polo. What's up, bet? What's up, my dude? Check twenty four, twelve, twelve, twelve. Are these twelves? No, the twelve was before on. No, there's twelve here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm just trying to make sure his 12 was from the flop. All right. 20, 24K upsizing. Who's up Putting that shit in there. Uh, Stu is. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Um, he's just bombing going. it. So right away. What? Connected board, he says. Joey says, we check this on some frequency. So he's checking here. Some frequency equals right now. <laughs> he's checking now. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm. Hey, what's up, Demo? What's good? Polarizing is fuck going big, he says. Interesting. What do you like here, Toe? Conflicted, man. Part of me wants to be on Team Joey, Jack. Um, part of me thinks on 10 high boards like this, we pretty much sleep in range. 
This is one of those boards, though. This is like one of the worst boards in poker. Where like all the middling cards and the fucking high cards all kind of hit this in some way. And then even as weak like shitty Jack X, shitty Queen X all have gutters. So now we're hoping for shitty King X. Like 6-7 has a draw. Like all that shit has draws. So... I kind of want to check, but I think we're supposed to bet range. I mean, yeah, this is a board where we have all the Queen Jack O's and shit like that. Um, we just deny equity uh, a little bit. Uh, we get value from Jack X7. I think this is just a fucking small bet. Just go 12, it might right? might be a just... range bet, too. But, uh, yeah, I mean, but maybe we, we do just go like large. Check raised a lot. Maybe we do have larger bets here as well. I'm, I'm kind of curious to run it. 24 feels reasonable as well. I mean, we're betting this board frequently. Uh, I think we're betting this board a lot, honestly, with our range. I think so, too. It doesn't feel like a hot. It's just always one of those boards that looks bad. It feels bad for in position because big blind should hit this at a high rate. But at the same time, uh, we actually have the nuts in our range. And two pair, and we open offsuit 10x in our range, all the over pair. So we'd be betting this board a lot, like... Um, so yeah, uh, either 12 or 24, I think could be fine. I don't think we need to go 36 ever. No, I so, would be surprised if we size up. Yeah. But. All right. Uh, let's see. We're going 24 though. Let's see if Jonathan agrees with using the bigger size or is this small frequent or does he want to just check this combo and be put straight in hell on most turns? Mm -hmm. um, all right. Ascension going 12. And we're going 24. Fuck him up. Let's do it. Let's find out. This is a, an interesting spot because... Yeah, we got to bet frequently The ace nine is going to be the this best hand a lot. The problem, though, is if we bet and get raised, it's not particularly amazing because we could easily be against a 10 or a premium draw, etc. So I think checking back in this scenario is reasonable, but my default is going to be just to bet on these very coordinated boards. Yep. Because if we do let it check behind, there's a lot of bad turns. And if we Hell. face a turn plus river bet, then we actually probably can't call. So I think we'd rather just bet small and go from there, like 12,000. Uh, if you bet bigger, then yeah, you get a little bit more protection. The problem, though, is that then some of the hands you really want to jam on you that are in rough shape may actually start finding big folds. Like imagine your opponent just folds a hand like 9-3 suited or 8-3 suited. That would be terrible, right? And I think they will start doing that if you bet. 24,000. So I think the only best size that makes sense in this spot is right. 12,000. That is what I do. And the opponent rips it in. Should we fold? Or should we call? 1.8 to 1. There's a little bit of an echo. I'm not sure why there. Uh... Is that for me? I'm sorry. I'm not sure where it's from. Did you I'm not hearing an echo from you on my end. Uh... There's a small echo on the quizzes. I don't hear an echo from you. It's the quizzes. Okay, shit. Um, what are we doing here? Calling off or folding? Calling off or folding? Hollywood folding, Doris calling, Ascension calling, Bucks calling. Beat said can't fold fast enough. Can't fold fast enough. Hang. So Call because of plenty of available thing. draws. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Hmm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> fold, 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 fold. I guess we have to call. What up? Soap is dope. Uh, you're folding. Okay. Call because of plenty of available draw plus jails, a station adjacent. Okay. okay so Stu's calling. And Ascension also calling. Can't call without a spade. Impossible yeah, to call no, without a spade. You I need mean, a you fucking spade. Something like Queen Jack, we're behind right now. Even with yeah, but I think you only can call with a spade in your, like the fucking ace of spades or something. Agreed. You cannot call without a spade blocker. So it's over. I mean, I think it's just that simple. I think you can call ace nine, but you need to you need a fucking spade. <laughs> in my, yeah, that's it. You need some sort of way to redraw, right? Yeah, you need a blocker. We're be you can't have a hat. You are going to be, dude. If he has like flush, pa pair straight draw, flush draw, uh, flush draw with two overs live, you're just dead. I don't know. We need we need a spade to call. And he still could have a ten, which sucks. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and then you need yeah you need a spade, some kind of redraw. This is just dead. 
uh, versus so much and it can't re really redraw enough. Uh, and it's not blocking enough. So I would just not fold without a, without a spade. Me too. That's it. Uh, Pete says he doesn't think he can call this combo even with a spade. I think you have to call with a spade, especially the ace of spades. You would never fold this with ace of spades. That's my opinion, but... We got to go to the run. We got to go to the wizard and run it. Yeah, run it in the wizard. I'm not sure. I'm not running it. And I, that was just my assumption. I think you can <laughs> only... Uh, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you going to run it? All right. All right. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I think he started the hand with like 15 effective, less than 15, but like 14, 15 effective. Okay. So yeah, uh, let's let's go ahead and call here, and then I'm curious when we run this in the ways that I would just say uh, you need a spade to call. Sure. He said call. Yes, let's do it. All right, let's do it. If you decide to bet this mm -hmm. hand, there's pretty much no way you can fold this hand. This Bullshit. hand is far too good to bet and then fold because we could easily be against a worse nine or an eight or a flush draw or a straight eight. draw. And straight you don't have a whole lot of those in their range. So this is just a very, very easy call off. If you bet this Oof. hand and then fold again, yeah, you're avoiding a spot that's probably close where you're taking some risk, but you're never going to get a hold of chips in tournaments and you are going to get ran over by the players who are loose and aggressive and battly. So you didn't say this is just an easy call. Uh, would I yeah. call it an eight? Say I had ace eight, I'd be a little bit less inclined to bet ace eight to begin with, because if I bet and get jammed, it's more likely I'm against a random nine, right? But if I did bet ace eight, I'd probably call it off too. I mean, it's an annoying <laughs> spot. You, you got to realize pot odds exist, right? Sure, Am I good thirty-five ish percent Jesus of the time? Christ. And the answer is just yes, uh, because our opponents can have a whole lot of draws in, the, in their range. We're going to be flipping or close to flipping a lot of the time in this scenario, and you know, flipping getting two to one pot odds is an easy call. Even if there are decently big pout implications, especially when it's not for all of our money. So just a call. Hope to hold or get there. <laughs> Who knows? Hope to hope to hope to win the hand. And they had the open ended straight draw. Nice. Run it. Hundred percent falls in the charts. Hundred percent is ace eight with the spade calling? 100%. Is the spade calling? All of its all of its folding. All of its folding. How many bigs did you start him with? Uh I had to go up to twenty because no. at there's no, oh, there's no ace nine open if I put everyone to fourteen. <laughs> no, but you, he's at seventeen. All right, here's seventeen. Hi, Jack. You open at seventeen. All right, we're Try seventeen. Yeah, one second. I'm gonna, look, I'm gonna watch your multi stream since you're doing it. Oh, I'm actually not even doing it on the screen. Oh fuck, sorry. I just wanted to see the output. <clears throat> I feel dumb now. He says. <laughs> oh, this is it Ace feels like only calling with a spade. Only calling with Ace a spade at 17, beautiful. right? Are you showing it on stream? Let me see. No, but I can. Please. Because my assumption is like you need a spade and otherwise it's a fucking torch. But what do I know? It is a torch. That dude jamming 5-7 is the dumbest shit I've ever seen. Yes, on the wettest board in America. Yeah, what the fuck is he doing? Just a pun. I'll just put it here, I guess, because the screen's weird, but. Oh fuck it! It's 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 much. It's lagging over here, so it's not a big deal. Uh, the, you guys can check out Toe Stream. We got a multi link. We should team stream. Try to figure out how to do that one day, so they can click. It's better. Maybe that might be better. Yeah, we'll, we'll look into it. I mean, I got a bunch of time today. That that also depends on what type of player jams on you. True, but man, easy fall with Ace King and Ace Queen, man. Like you have no hand, no draw. What the fuck. I mean, yeah, I guess Ace Queen fucking... you have a small draw. Good torch. All right. Uh, we have a 28. Did you swish it? Swish. Yeah. Well done, Stu. Good try. Um, yeah. 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 I don't know about this call, you know. Agreed. <laughs> I mean. <clears throat> it's interesting because I had a conversation with Jonathan in the, in the DOD Discord where he was saying we were calling, and I ran at an ICMizer, and it was a fucking bold. He argued, he argued against ICM Miser, and I said, hey, <laughs> you're Jonathan Little. You're uh, Jonathan Little, and I'm just a pleb. Yeah. Uh, jellyfish with the 26th time. Thank you, man. I appreciate mm, you. 35 for me, because he loves me more. Thanks, yeah. Jelly. <laughs> 35 for you? Damn, Jelly. I see you, man. Thank you for the support. We appreciate you. Um, Cool. Let's uh change the keyword. Whoa. And then uh, pick another quiz. What you got for me? What? You're going to hate the shit that I pick. I'm thirsty. It, I, it's been a few weeks for me, and I know you ain't using my shit. 
I know you ain't hit a cat jam or a cat dub or nothing like that in weeks. Oh, fuck no. You're you're not built All like of that. my ones from last <laughs> one was no 6-6, six, 6-6 six, 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 no show. <laughs> Like all of them, I think it was like six six. Where are you? Like every single every single one was that. <laughs> uh, look in the chat. There's a couple of cat jams and cat w's in the chat. You guys already fucking. I know exactly what you're doing. You you know me too well. Call he snap call my ball. It's cat jam time. Get your cat jams in the chat. All right. Read like a book. Read like a book. Got to see. <laughs> Well played. Nice read. <laughs> All right. Uh, while those are streaming in chat, hell yeah. <clears throat> Catch up in the chat for you guys to get into the next quiz. Congratulations, Ascension. Oh. I will send your wife more money. <laughs> uh, cool. Uh, we got a couple people get getting in. What up, JP? Sneaking in the keg dub. You love to see it. Um, since you're uh, more caught up on quizzes or know what's available, literally you everything. Like pick another one. Everything from everything down to fucking like 1854 is wide open. I did everything old while you were gone. You're in there grind time. Okay, so you oh you the man. Uh, so we have all the new stuff available. We'll do everything that. On the top is available. Lowercase cat, uppercase jam. <laughs> Yes, lowercase cat, uppercase jam. That cat W in a C of we cat want jam. Cash is monkey may I? What? Dude, our cash game group is so much fun. You gotta tell me, <laughs> I've been in the cash streets. Hey, look at you! You played more cash than me this year. What? You're the leader of the cash game study group. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a student of cash game. I don't actually play it. You don't actually play. <laughs> All right, um, let's. I want to do this 10k at poker, the poker go 10k poker go king eight suited. This is just oh, the very top one with attrition. Yes, I can't wait. To when I first saw that, I was like, fuck, does Justin have a quiz? No, Tristan's out there in the 10k streets as well. These guys are fucking in bosses. Yeah, I thought it was Justin's quiz because they, they actually look like brothers. 100 per- Don't think Tristan and Justin kind of look like brothers. Yeah, they're both tall as well, like that. Yeah, same structure, like yeah, yeah. When you forget my catch, I I have tried so many times, uh, praying, and I'm a tech guy. Like I've tried the settings so many times. I don't know why I can't get it to work. Um. All right. I've gone to the Googles and everything. Dude, I can't. I can't play cash for long periods of time like that, man. It's yeah. It's a cash is a social drinking activity. Exactly. I'm there to have a good time. I'm one tabling live. Come on. Play cash on global, man. That shit was crazy easy. <laughs> I'm sure. I mean, we get a lot of hand hits. I got a limp like... jam for 100 bigs ace nine zero. Oh, my God. <laughs> they got tired of me fucking isoing. <laughs> they just <laughs> jammed ace nine zero. I got a blocker. All right, let's do it. Let's. Oh, did uh, we pick somebody yet? I'm fucking We booming. did not. Outkicked. What up, buddy? Oh, shit. Outkicked. Near true go. What oh, up, shit. champ? You got it. What up, champ? Bet, bet, bet. Here we go. You Aaron's a mini machine it. gun. Welcome back, fam. Hope life is treating you well. Uh, represent the mafia. Let's get it. Uh, King eight suited. Let's play it. Right. So poker coaching. Another hand from the ten k poker go. Here I'm on the button. Chance corner raises under oh, the gun. Oh, piss. And Why we got the king eight suited right on the button. Six no this fucking table. What do we want Chance Cormish and want short. Fold? Do we want to Hold on, my shit's buffering for literally no reason. To 9,000. Why does it do this? All right, give me a second, guys. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck is happening. That's right. Oh, my can't win with God. Mafia. Pulls in the team oh. toe, guys. That's right. What the fuck? Why? All right. Um. Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah, Chance Why is good is as pro- fuck, man. Right? What are the odds a guy named Chance becomes a professional poker player and successful? Man, what the hell? My um, I'm sorry, my shit is like lagging for some He's reason. He's been offline for three weeks. He forgot to pay his internet bill. 
Hell no. What's up with that exclusivity deal, man? That'll give you enough to pay your fucking internet? Bro, what the fuck? I'm actually getting tilted. Chances of fish, I call. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. I have no idea why it's doing this. You don't I don't even have... The... Oh, why do all the bad things happen to me and only me? <laughs> only you. <laughs> God, I can't make it a Saturday without getting tilted, and I'm not even playing. <laughs> guys, I'm about to punt it. It's okay. a good stream, guys. We'll catch you next week. Thanks for Dude, tuning what the in. Fuck? It's all the rain for me in Cali. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. It's snowing, but it's not like that bad. Fuck, man. Did Chance open? Tell me what happened here. Chance opens to 2,500. We're on the button. Chance opens to 2,500. suited. Are you playing King A suited to Chance's open or three betting? Near True Goat is three betting to 9K. He ain't scared of Chance. He's going to wreck him. King A, three bet. 150 uh, effective. Let's see. Meatball calling. Is that just call Sorry about or this. raise, but he's leading call. Praying says you can call to us. Might raise some frequency. Hollywood calling. Play Hollywood. Beats. <laughs> Call it. Beat is calling. Where's uh, our kicked? Our kicked. Out kicked. What are you doing? Near True Goats, three batting. Where you at? Dark Apollo. Welcome, welcome, welcome. He's calling. They are calling. I don't know if that's a he yet. Apologies. Uh, I'm going to have to redraw on Al Kicked, I think. Damn, he just dipped. He got picked in 10 and seconds. Dipped. Did it ever buffer and catch up? Nope. I don't know. I might have to just have you translate this fucking quiz to me. Can you click the, the options? I hope so. Yeah. You can click the options, but the video is not playing. Yeah, it's just buffering. I have no idea why, bro. This happened to me a couple weeks ago on uh, on the thing. All right, uh, uh, no I'm drawing on our kicks because uh, it's been a minute. Let me try. Hollywood. <laughs> it was worth the wait. Uh, it was worth it. All right, what are you doing? Hollywood. I'm gonna try to go to poker. I'm gonna try to do Hollywood it. Call. All right, cool. Um. Try, yeah, that's what I was doing, Stu. I'm opening it up in a new browser. Um, but yeah, what are you doing here? Uh, no, we're three betting to 9K. Uh, so, you playing this hand versus I'm definitely Chance playing here. this hand. Um, I think sometimes this hand and King Nine three bet. I always end up over. I always end up calling these spots. I don't three bet enough, but I think it mixes. Uh, I'll call. I would call mostly. Call. Yeah, I'm just gonna call here. Uh, he's actually cut off hijack, low jack. As well, it's just not under the gun. It's low jack. So versus the low jack range, I actually want a three bet now. It's yep. Yeah, no, nobody's folding. Don't be ridiculous. You can't be folding. Uh, it's you're you're playing too tight if you're folding here. But uh, yeah, I actually want a three bet now. To on the charts, a low king jack eight suited, range. mostly a call, but king seven, king nine, fifty fifty on raising, king six, fifty fifty. So king eight happens to be like the island of just call. Yep. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, we're three betting though, and I can't blame I can't blame my man. Uh, I don't think we have a cold calling range on the button. Three bet or four? Yeah, we definitely have a cold calling. We have range. a lot of a cold calling range on the button. Hell yeah! What are you going to do with pocket Ton. fives? We're calling sixteen point five percent. Yeah, you're not going to three bet fives. Here's Fours. I'm opening up this in a new browser. Poker coach. I can just send it to you if you want me to. It's easier. I'm just trying to get on the fucking site, man. Why get in the game, man. Here. Check Skype. All right. All right. Uh, let's do it. We're three betting. Uh, we're calling. Let's do it. All right. Two All right. points. Uh, if you want to call let's here. do this. I think it's kind of like. There we go. I got a new one. This shit is busted. Just be like, oh, we got a new browser in town. It's not that great. All right, let's do it. Uh, three back. Against an under the gun range. Oh, you and fucking click that shit. I did it. I'm All sorry. Right, two points Good if you want to fold here. I think it's kind two points of for a fold. like yeah. intuitive to just be it's like, oh, we got King ass. and suited on the button. Yeah, I just had to try my right. Let's just pitch it against an under the gun range. Fine. 
Um, but I really think calling here is the best play. And then I like raising to 9,002. I give you five points for that. And the reason why I like calling the most here is we're playing shorthanded poker. We're playing deep stack. We have the button advantage. So there are uh, King X hands that we can call on the button here being so deep. Um, you know, we'd flat call all of our suited aces almost and three bet some of them. So I like having some suited kings here. And, you know, it seems like just it's a weird spot with king eight suited, but it's a better hand than it looks. So, um, yeah, like calling. Multi way. And the big blind comes along as well. Flop comes eight nine six rainbow chance bet sixty five hundred <laughs> with two people and what do we do now? Do we fold? Do we call or do we re raise? All right, what are we doing here in the middle with King Eight? Rage and Al, welcome chance back. Chance bets in the middle here. On on a board that's traditionally doesn't pretty favor. bad and it, yeah, it doesn't favor his range hits. A calling range in a big blind range, pretty fucking hard, and he's still willing to go slightly big in the middle on this board. What are you doing? Oh, yeah. This Mixed is answer the, uh, already. Meatball calling, Ascension calling, Dark Apollo with the Rays. You don't give a fuck. Doris don't give a fuck. Near True Goat says, I'm so bad, but I'm just letting middle pair go. <laughs> oh, oh, you can tell it. calling. Chance. Oh, not chance calling. Chance Dark calling. <laughs> Monkey man calling. Hot wood calling. Soap is dope calling. No backdoor flush to float with. Yeah, no, man. It's. Ugh. I think this is close to a full. Yeah. Purdue fold. Would rather have King Eight suited with a backdoor flush draw. Oh man. And it hits big blinds range well enough and he's going big jay jay says 90 out says uh raise if he had it he would have check raised fuck this lead <laughs> oh shit it's an interesting thought actually it's actually kind of all right thought. uh we're folding over here we are calling so are you folding this i'm folding this <laughs> so Dude, uh, I agree. I forget who said it. Dude. I agree with Verdu where uh, I want the backdoor flush draw to go with it. Like, there's not a lot of cards to improve. We still have to worry about the big blind who hits the shit out of this board. And like we said, Chance is betting in the middle here on a board that doesn't favor him. So, all things considered, deuces. I mean, yeah. I mean, there's a few things to take, take into consideration here. We're, we're, I think it's a situation where theoretically Chance would have a very like he'd be checking this board a lot in the middle because mm -hmm. of the factors of, you know, we're going to have a lot of Jack 10. Uh, we have all the sets we would use as flats uh, as well in our range. We're going to have maybe not even uh, sevens. We're going to have like a lot of different hands to hit this board. So is the big blind. The big blind definitely have two pair and stuff like that. And for him to just fire big in the middle, it feels like he's betting big for protection with over pair. does. And we take into consideration we put in a 6,500. I don't think there's a non-zero percent chance we see a check raise or something. Or even yeah. when he continues, uh, how many we have good no way cards to improve. are there for us? How many good cards are there for us? Yeah, we have zero. I could, tell you, I could tell you how many are fucking bad for us. Mm -hmm. A ton, right? Even yeah. if the big blind also calls. Um, but yeah. I, Two I, I eights and three kings. So that's how many, that's how many good odds are for us. Five. Yeah, yeah dude. 20%. Like, there's a five, a jack, a ten, uh, a nine is also kind of like weird. An ace, a queen, a jack, seven. a ten, a seven. Well, I don't know. It's just and we're but we're in position. I don't know if this. I would fold like a nit bitch, but I would think maybe we have just so many better hands we can call with here. Why would we waste money with this one when we okay. definitely have so many more? Okay, king eight with a suited backdoor flush draw. I would never fold. Fine. I agree with that one. Yep. Yeah, but this one, fuck it. Uh, but yep, let's go ahead and fold. If we yep. call here, I would not be surprised if Tristan is just always going to call here. I think he's Spaz. going to call. Let's do it. Uh, we're calling. Let's do it. You know he's okay, calling. This is a little scary because Chance is betting in two players on a board that really connects with us Nits. more than it does him. True. So I assume Chance to have something there. You know, if something's like a Jack-10, a Queen-Jack, or an overpair, that would all make sense. Um, yep. You know, I don't he has think something. You have nothing, Tristan. Here with a hand like Ace Ten, although you know that could be a possibility too. Um, 
So with that said, like it's a little scary, but we have a pair and we're in position, so we can't really do anything other than call here. Folding would be too weak, raising would be too weak with our bolt with our exact hand, right? Like we have a pair, why do we need to turn into a bluff? So really just calling here is the only option. Now it is a little troublesome because we don't have a lot of improving cards, you know, we can't make a backdoor flush or anything, but still there's a possibility that we could have the best hand now and we have position, so let's play that. So we do call the big blind folds. Turn card comes a 10 of clubs, chance checks. Now, what do you think we should do? Should we check? Should Cry. we bet 10,000 or bet almost pot of 24,000? All right, what are we doing? Nits Anonymous group, you guys know what time it is. It's anonymous group. It's anonymous. The only reason I raised because I don't believe under the gun raiser has hit this flop. Yeah, but uh, you still have to worry about the big blind continuing in the hand. And when he bets in the middle here, he has something usually. Uh, I don't know if we have to turn this into a bluff here and raise it either. Agreed. Like we have shutout value. Agreed, Uh We're in position with one behind X. Still smacks the ETS. Check. Yes, Ascension's yelling. Uh, check. Bet for Apollo. Check for Hollywood. Check for Hollywood. Check back, JP says. Um, yeah, I, th I do think uh, the fold multi-way heads up. I mean, multi-way is a little nitty there, in, especially in position, but man. Um, I, hmm, what are we doing here? What I'm doing. Play this. Check back like the Nick bitch. I am 15. Rage and I, what are you doing here? 15K? No, there is no 15K. That was on the one. The low, the low, the low jack range hates this board right now. I don't know. I just got here kind of like a range bet. That is true. Soap is dope. Uh, that turn card should make them sick. Hey, rent a Ren back. Oh my goodness. Good to see you, Ren. Good vibes. I'm doing amazing. We should have all the seven to two pairs. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, we're checking. Near True Goat is just checking. So are we. So are you checking? Fuck yeah. I got showdown value. Like, am I betting for value? If I'm betting for value, what's worse than calling? Am I betting as a bluff? What's better than it's folding? Nothing. Check. I mean, I would have fucking checked the fucking flop. What the fuck? <laughs> like, I folded the flop. So, yes, I'm checking. I am trying to get the showdown. Please. Let's I do not... Yeah, but you can make a lot of better hands here, fold, and I don't think Chance would what ever hands check. Can you get to fold? By the river, uh, every single pair hand. Every single single pair hand is going to be in fucking hell from so here you're going on bet, out. Bet and turning your eight into a bluff? Yep. Just because of my range, and I think Chance is slightly capped uh, by not betting this turn. I think as if he did turn a gut shot with Queen Jack or something like that, he would use some sort of bet sizing. Um I, at this SPR, I think he'd just be able to get a lot of money in. Maybe chances get enough to check this, but I, I don't know, man. I'm like tempted to fucking turn my hand into a bluff on this board, um, considering I don't think we have much showdown value at fucking all with this pair. I think he has an over pair, single pair, or something like that a lot. I don't think, I literally don't think he ever bets ace jack, ace 10, uh, or anything like that on this flop. And if, we do, if he does, I'm going to put it in hell. Any single pair hand. So let's do it. Hell. I don't know if it's 10 or 20. I mean, I don't think we would go that polar versus I think we go 10 and then just fucking over bet river or something. So. I mean, we could check and then just what? Just hope to fucking God he checks river. We just show down. But it was a little weak. Over, right? Is he going to turn his over pair into a bluff or bet that for value? I don't know. Seems thin as fuck. Uh, yeah, part of what makes you a better player is to have these plays and discuss why you make certain plays. Agreed. Agreed. All right, uh, let's do it. We're going to check, and I think that's completely standard and viable. Uh, trying to get outside the box and steal this from chance in position seems pretty cool, too. But let's check. Okay. Uh, let's explore the betting options first. Betting but you would never check a seven yourself. That. You know, um, you would never check really a straight. I know what betting accomplishes. If you want to bet, you would cap value, your range. Do you really think like we're getting worse hands to call us? Are we really getting like a six to call us? Don't think so. Um, 
He would never bet A6. And anything else probably A7, has his beat. So betting there. small is not a cool thing here. Betting big, if we wanted to start bluffing here, I think that's okay. I give five points for yeah. a pot size bet. 28 40. But I just don't think we need to do that with this hand. I think we have worse hands at bluff. Like maybe pocket fives would like the bluff <laughs> here if we called the flop with a gut shot. Um, maybe a hand like five six suited wants to start bluffing here but i don't think a hand like king eight that doesn't Brilliant. have as much interaction wants to bluff um you know i don't know if we had some other floats on the flop like an ace jack of diamonds with a back door or something, <sighs> then i could totally see us trying to like bluff here um so yeah this is just not a good hand to start bluffing with so we conclude that we want to check here we have showdown value we have a pair the board's getting scary we don't need to bluff, and we don't have nothing to need to bluff either. So we do check back. The river is the king of hearts, and Chance now bets 20000 Big bet. What do you think we should do now? Should we fold? Should we call? Or should we go all in? Cat jam! <laughs> <laughs> hey, jo Josiah Sky, thank you for that follow. Uh, appreciate that. Hope you're having a good day. Easy Teddy Grimms, it, yeah, if you um, do miss the weekly cash game steady groups, I try to get those posted usually a couple days, man. It's, it takes a little bit of time. Um, but, yeah, we make sure to get those posted, my friend. Mm -hmm. um, All cool. the calls. Door shoving. Everyone else calling. So I got a question. Have we given away? We just do. You know what we have? We should give away a premium membership today. Okay. We should just roll for it. I like that. We're going to give away uh, a poker coaching premium membership today for one of you guys. So I mean, how crazy do you want to get today? I got a bunch of swag. Give we can give some shit like that because I've want I wanted to do that uh, the first stream back of the new year and I wasn't one month here membership. available. You know, we'll give away a one month membership uh, today. And uh, maybe roll for some swag as well. So uh, we'll think of a fun way to coordinate that after this hand. Um, but, yeah, in the meantime, how are we going to do this? Uh, we post the replay. Call, 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 call. Everybody call us uh, the doors you jammed. Let's get that shit crazy. <laughs> uh, let's see. Calling. Wondering if a raise is all right. I mean, seven's not likely. Now you want to get crazy. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. Can't see the sizes. All the fuck in. <laughs> Draining, I am not becoming a star in the movie industry. Fuck it. Let's punt. <laughs> he has. All right. We're, we're raising. There's Aaron. There it is. All right, we're jamming. Pretty easy call here, man. Can't Snap. get that by jam. Nope. Only, only calling. Dude, mm -hmm. you cannot jam. You will literally not get called by worse. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know if Chance is going to do it, but if, like, if I had Ace King here and I went bat and then you jammed this river, like, get him. probably full <laughs> Ace King. <laughs> He's savage. This is a nasty ass shit. All right, yeah, we're going all in. Uh, I expect to see a goose egg, but oh, may no. the poker gods be with us. Goose him. All right. <laughs> all right. Goose him. Fuck. All right, we're doing it. All right. I mean, look, we got two pair now. Sure, Goosed. we lose to seven X. Sure, we lose to some better two pair. Sure, we lose to sets. Sure, we lose to queen jack. You know, yeah, we're losing to a lot, but. Does Chance really ever have a seven? Sure, they could. Does he ever have Queen Jack? Sure, <laughs> he could. Would some of those hands bet the turn? Yes, they would. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're, we're in like a toss-up <laughs> scenario, but when you have a hand this strong, two pair on this river, we really aren't folding, right? If we had eight, nine, we'd probably be calling here. If we had nine, ten, we'd be calling here. If we had sets, we'd be calling here. And we'd probably play all those the same way and just hope our opponent doesn't show us a straight or a better hand. So that's kind of how I feel about this hand when we make kings up. It's like, okay, um, Chance is creative enough to just be bluffing here and our hand's strong enough to now beat some other hands too. So flick it in. No other option here. We call. 
and we beat the Queen Nine. So pretty cool bluff by Chance too. Um, does he have to turn his hand into a bluff? Not necessarily, but I think it's a good thing to do because he can maybe get us to fold like a hand like Jack Ten, or um, you know he can at least make us think that maybe we'll fold like a two pair or something if we had like nine ten or something like that. Ooh, Again, they I'm both not saying played their hands like his bet could have us consider uh, making a fold. So both well played either way. Um, and yeah, king eight on the button comes through. <clears throat> oh, interesting uh, enough, that queen nine of hearts might be one of the bets in the middle, interestingly enough. Needs protection. Sand gets checked back a lot. I'm not running it. It's 125 bigs deep, but I I'm think starting this to, is uh, yeah, somebody one needs. of the very few hands that actually does bet in the middle. The king nine, the uh, the the nines with an over. The nines that need door. a lot of protection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see it. Um, he plays cool. everywhere. Uh, Ascension. Who does? You. Oh yeah, all the sides. Um, we got a fifteen. We had four opportunities of forty possible points we could have scored. We got a fifteen. Ouch. Champion. No, nah, fuck that. We're a beast, though. We're champion punters. We're speed we got running 14. world champions. Congratulations. You got a what? 14. No, you didn't. No, we switched that bitch. Don't yeah, about to say, shut strong. your ass up. The army is too strong. Nah. Congratulations there. I forget who it It's all good. Mentioned. Hollywood. Congratulations. Hollywood. Um, cool. Let's go ahead. So Chance is bidding on turn when he picks up equity. I mean, then he's kind of turning his hand into a bluff. We have a lot of seven X. Like I think he just got. It's kind of similar to our hand at that point, where he's got a lot of showdown value. Uh, the question is, is should he bet river? Well, we cap our range by not betting the turn. Is why he bet the river. I get it. But he's we don't. We don't ever have a fucking straight. A we never have a straight when we bet. Uh, the essentially turn. turning. Uh, but we bluff, don't bet right? the turn. So, well, he's. You're not getting yeah, value from an eight or a six. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, it's, 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 this is a super interesting hand. I would love to run this by somebody else. But and if really... you do bet it, wouldn't you block? Trying to get called by worse versus he bet big. Uh, right? he, feels, he, he feels like he's folding out. Yeah, it's weird. Is he just folding out 10x at that point? A lot of this 10x. This guy have... fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> this chance guy? Who is this? Who is this guy? $12 million in cash. Roll it over. Dude. Thanks, Hollywood. I'll do that. All right, cool. Uh, pick another quiz. Oh, Ascension. I Damn, that was fucking, loud as fuck. Sorry. Jesus I get Christ. You, I get you just you. screamed I get in my fucking you. ear. Um, your my God. Get Sean Winters in here? God, I wish, man. That guy's my fucking hero. Sean Winters is the only person I've ever seen take a 10 blind stack, triple barrel bluff, and fold river. And it made complete sense. It fucking blew my yeah. I'd never seen anything in my life. It fucking was crazy. That guy's All amazing. Right. Keyword. Um, um, I got one, but you're never going to agree with it. So I'm going to come up with another one. Pikachu. Army Strong. Bullshit. Bullshit, not happening. Army Strong in the chat. Tech, tech W over here. For him saying Army Strong. He crazy <laughs> as hell. Tech W in the chat. He's crazy as hell. Army tech Strong. Tech W over here. I tried to get him to tap out. You see that? He wouldn't do it. 0% chance. I ain't never giving up. Two quizzes, two swishes, baby. Tech W to the man for trolling. Um, All right. How should we do the... Uh, Giveaway. We probably do it at the end of the stream, and we'll. Oh, do... you just want to do like a random draw giveaway? That's how you want to do it. I'm cool with that. Yeah, we'll random draw one person from each stream, um, and then have them flip for it. Whoever wins the flip wins the one month membership. The other person wins like some merchandise or something. How does that sound? Oh, sure. Yeah. So, so one person get gets the membership. The other person gets a swag pack. I have a bunch of stuff I can give you. I have poker coaching hats, which I don't have one. Yeah, we'll here, do that. But I got poker coaching pins. I got fucking Maybe. poker coaching patches. I got fucking. You know what else though? GB t-shirts. If the person who wins is already uh, a member, they'll just give the get the swag, and the other person will get it. 
We'll flip it. Well, if they if we flip and the winner is already a premium member or something like that, yeah, we'll they don't it. fucking need it. Or maybe they want an extra month or something. But yeah, some people just want the merch, you know. Um, so let's do it. Um, we'll pick a keyword uh, for this and then um, do another quiz and keep it going. Holy Full disclosure, because someone tried to fucking cancel me and say I don't pay, which is ridiculous. But to send the swag is going to take a little while because I have to leave the house. That's a big deal. I don't leave the house. So it might take me a week to send the swag, but I will absolutely send it. Brand gaming. Well, well, well. Oh, you drew for it already? Yeah, I did. I'm sorry. I was on it. I didn't even, we didn't even find another quiz. I just hit the button. Dark Apollo. The big number. Let's go. See, now Dark we got some. Uh, we, in the house. We brought in the big guns. Serious. They don't pick up service. They gotta come to Vegas and get that shit. Beats, that's cool. Beats can remember, help Beats win so he can come pick it up. If you're behind in a quiz, it's okay to punt it and launch it and get a zero. That's what we've learned from new true, near True Goat today. I appreciate that, my man. That was funny. If you're <laughs> down go, and out go all quiz, the way. Go all the way. Fuck. Done <laughs> and done. <laughs> all right. Um, we got that. Yeah, all of these are Lexi Tristan Acevedo. Lexi Tristan Acevedo. Lexi Tristan Acevedo. Acevedo. It's not a problem. Oh, not Acevedo. Uh, I was about to say. Sassianata. What? Sassianata. Mm, mama mia. <coughs> no Affleck. No Faraz. No we have to do. Romero. We got to do some cash. It's cash game oh, time. Oh, shit. We haven't done a fucking Jarvis one in forever. You just want to yes. make King Queen? Yes. This uh, 1887. We'll play Dark Apollo, cash. you are the contestant, buddy. So you let me know what you would do on this quiz. I will go with your answer. You're competing against the contestant on Six's um, stream. And then if you get a higher score than the contestant on Six's stream, I send you five bucks. Just ship me some duct tape. I don't need a new headset. I, I'm using scotch tape to hold this one together. How about we just have a duct tape fun? Dude, it's like Revenge of the Nerds where they have like the tape on their glasses. You got yep, the yep. I got it on my headset here. You see that? I didn't notice it until you pointed it out. Yeah, I was tilted and broke them one night, and then I haven't bought bought a new pair yet because I've been trying to hit a monetary goal first. Punch the chair, man. It's harder to break the chair. <laughs> uh, all right, let's do it. Uh, let's do it. 1887. Let's yep. go. Hello, uh, Poker Coaching members. Evan Jarvis here for PokerCoaching.com. Oh, I missed these screen names. We're doing a 50 cent, $1 online cash game quiz from Poker Stars. In this hand, we are playing with some regs. A Lucy Goosey reg, a Tarzan Diggity Dan reg, a Knit reg, and uh, a guy whose screen name is <laughs> Mor Moron. Self-proclaimed moron. Uh, we get an open from Nitreg and the cutoff to 2.5x. And we are in the small blind with king, queen, king of diamonds, queen of spades. What should we do? Should we fold, call, three bet to seven and a half, or three bets to twelve dollars? I'm all excited and pumped. I just came out of the cash streets. I'm ready, coach. Put me in. No apple bottom jeans this time, Jelly. Bold king queen is such a trash ass. Oh, thank hand. you for that. It is a job. rollover. Thank you for the reminder, Pran. Ten bucks. Holy Ten smoke. bucks to you, Dark Apollo, if you win. Ooh. Some incentive over there. What do we Ten bucks to win? You can just show up on Twitch, make 10 bucks an hour, make more than people are making fucking more than a minimum wage. In the cash game streets. Get this shit. <laughs> uh, 12, 12, 12. Lots From of 12s. JP, soap is dope. What are we doing here, guys? 12. Lots of 12s. Dr. Paula going 7.5. A couple of calls in there. Um, Knit Reg has got people a hair shook. <laughs> Most people don't give a fuck. Uh, seven point five is a bit small out of position. Wait a minute, what are we doing in here? Praying gaming? Are you running the hand? Oh no, you said it. Let's go twelve. I'm sorry, I'm booming. All right, we're going twelve. We are also I don't remember going seven point five. 
You're going 7.5? Mm -hmm. Too small. 12 it is. Too small. Uh, way too is. small. 12 it is. I mean, shit. I would. I wonder if this is three betting like. I, I'd have a hard time not doing it every time because I'm insane <sighs> sometimes, but this is definitely a fucking three bet. Never, ever flatting here. Folding is pretty damn nitty. 7.5 too small. 12 it is. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of position, we size up. Yep, 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 yep. Raising yep. into a even that right idea, Apollo. Needs, uh, probably the wrong size. Yeah, even a knit has a fucking like a range, like he has to raise fold. It's not even a knit has can't. ace ten here. Doesn't want to call a raise. Yeah, yeah, even a knit has to open king jack off. Come on, it doesn't matter that much. I'm not going to be tight enough. I, I guess I would be indifferent with worse hands than king queen if he's that tight. But king queen is getting in there. King queen off easy fold in the small blind. If that's the case, I give up. I'm never playing cash. Uh oh, it's, this the, 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 the cast Tuesday's cash stream is on the line with this quiz. Here we go. Yeah, I gotta look at this now. I'm shook. Folding oh, this shit be. be three, but... Yeah. All right, let's do it. I I I've just quit the cash game streets. If you got to be this tight. All right, let's do it. Twelve. Ready. Uh, seven point five. Let's do it. Yep. When in doubt for Please spots like it. this, you can simply consult your GTO preflop charts, <laughs> and this is going to be a spot where we want to three bet. Uh, there is some school of thought to calling to keep in worse kings, keep in worse queens, um, and invite the big blind in. If the big blind is a really weak player, we may want to consider doing that to invite them into the pot. The issue is when we just call from the small blind, uh, we're playing out of position with a fairly defined range and against a regular, it's they're probably going to play pretty well, not make too many mistakes. Also, the big blind happens to be a regular. So rather than inviting him in or inviting him to put the squeeze on us, uh, it's better for us to just three bet ourselves, knock him out of the pot uh, and take control of the betting. Also, uh, define knit regs range more so we can navigate well post flop king queen a pretty good semi bluffing hand so we're gonna can't ever to fold it uh so we have more fold equity if we bet, right? to five he's gonna call with majority of the hands that he's opened with and although we keep in some hands that we dominate we also keep in a, a lot of hands that are live against us and we be playing a deep stack pot out of position which is not ideal we'd rather be playing a shallow stack pot out of position which is accomplished by going with a larger three bet sizing so net right calls, we get a fantastic flop. Queen of diamonds, five of spades, two of clubs, giving us top pair, but nothing but a couple of gut shots out there for the ace four and ace three suited of the world. Actions on us, what should we do? 25 Rainbow. Should we check, bet 33%, bet 50%, or bet 75%. Yeah, so right idea here, Apollo. Uh, you just have to size up out of position. That's the thing. It's kind of a standard thing. Your bet size is totally standard in position, um, although heaven a little harsh on the fucking points what did right you give idea, wrong bet size <laughs> what did he give you for that a deuce that's harsh like at oh, least God. give it a four or five jesus christ uh, Look at i'm gonna write evan a stern letter i have him on speed dial don't worry all right cool uh let's see oh i'm sorry you guys oh by the way questions. no flats hell no, no you're blind. in a small blind zero flats yeah, you got, a lot of you guys are tournament guys. You're in the cash game streets now. I've been in these streets studying mm -hmm. like a lot. Yo ass ain't flatting. And I I would actually, since we're only playing such a tight range from the small blind to opens, it, I, I would imagine it's maybe 10 to 13%, maybe 12, 13%. We're probably just fucking like three betting that entire range damn near since it's so tight. When we weird enough. Evan's got percentages in his options here, not bet sizes. What the hell? You Evan in the, in the solver streets? What's happening? You want me to tag or highlight? I'm um, sorry, praying gaming going standard to bet 33% to you. Okay, standard 33. Uh, what are you guys doing? Sin, Doris going half. Meatball going half. Beats going half. Hollywood going 33. Apollo going half. Everybody going half for the most part. Damn. Everybody that going half is probably right. Uh, in the 33 standard, you guys are MTT regs and you get ran over in the cash streets because your bat sizing is too small on some of these spots. I think we just go 50 fucking here every time. Uh, that's interesting. I would automatically go 33 here, but I don't study cash, so I could be wrong and we might want to size up. We're also deeper, so our small bit gets bigger. It makes 50. sense to me. I would auto go 33 here, but 50 makes sense. 
50. Yep. Uh, so 50 for me. Um, 33 50 for Apollo. Uh, I don't think it's like a big mistake or anything like that, but it feels too small in cash. We're fucking a massive 100. lead on this board. Well, the thing is, like, I think we get so accustomed uh, to using a 33 uh, percent bat and quarter and stuff like that because we've ingrained it in our minds playing a lot of tournaments where we're 40 effective and shallower for more most of the like our time playing and in these spots those bets are good we're fucking 100 big blinds deep here when you're betting you're usually going to use bigger bet sizes because sure. you're deep you're, you're, you're just pool. deeper effect yeah and your your ranges are already so tight you're trying to stack them all fucking get money in the pot so yeah people with good job bet 50 <laughs> Uh, Apollo, this is a cash game. Uh, I only really play tournaments too. I so I played cash game yesterday, Quincy, for the first time in like two years. So yeah, yeah praying gaming. Uh, I think it's more standard, and I think if you study deeper stuff, uh, stack stuff in tournaments, when you start getting a 70, 80 and getting a post slot, you, even in three bet pots, three bet C bet, most people three bet C bet thirty percent. But when you're deeper, it's going to um, allow you to three bet C bet half pot. In bigger sizes more on some of this stuff so just be careful with autopilot 33 everything i think it could be uh a flaw but we're gonna go 33 here and let's see what happens uh we're going 50. Uh, so this is a spot where we can put that with a lot of our range Eight. it's slightly better to do on a king yeah, it's just, ace high board where sorry. more of our hands that have three bet yeah. connect with that board because we're three bet bluffing a lot more ace x's than we are queen x's um but we could go for a small bet with our entire range here to 33% because the board is pretty dry with one high card and two low cards. Checking to go into a check call mode. It's all right. The issue is our opponent's not going to be betting three streets with worse hands very often unless he's a maniac. And this guy is not. He's a nit reg. Uh, so we're, we're only going to be getting two streets or even one street of value by going into a check call mode against some hands that may be willing to call three if we size it properly uh queen jack suited queen 10 suited jacks tens nines maybe even although maybe not against this particular player so we want to kind of balance between going for value and betting a lot of the hands in our range so we got king queen it's a great hand. We can get called by a lot of worse queens. We can get called by a lot of worse hands. And in those instances where we're only going to get two streets of betting from our opponent, if he has the jacks or nines that just won't call three, we'd rather bet a little bit on the bigger side than on the small side so we can get two chunky bets as opposed to two small ones because we went for three and he didn't call all three. So I like 50%. It's uh, right in the middle there. Solver likes two. And our opponent calls. Turn is just fine and dandy. Like sweet and sour candy. Uh, three three diamond bringing a backdoor flush draw, giving a wheel to ace four. And I mean, four six gets there too, but I don't think this player is calling a large three bet with four six. So actions on us. What should we do? Should we check? Bet 25%, bet 50%, or bet 75%? Very, very easy. What size do you want to bet? Uh, there's 50 big blinds in the middle here. Uh, let me think. 50 big blinds in the middle. I'm conflicted on the street. 50 big blinds in the middle. Let me think. We go 20. Let me think. <laughs> About a half SPR. 50% streaming through my chat right now. Yeah, all right. I was just thinking of what the fuck I would do here. I know what I would do. I have mixed emotions. I would, I would do two things here very frequently. SPR is one point five. Yeah, yeah. There's a worse car. Calling over bets. Not even an option to over bet out of position on the turn here. So can't do that. What are you doing, praying gaming? I'm sorry. Did you say you didn't? The monsters under the bed mindset. Yeah, fuck. Charlie that. going 75 says play for stacks, bitches. 75. Going 50. Okay. 50 soap is dope. Yeah, I mean, just looking at the fucking options. All right, praying game is going 50. So we have our so answer over here. Here is Apollo. 
Dude, I can't see what else you would do. Checking. I could see Ooh. checking also. It was the other option. 50 for me, but I think I think when we three bat, C bat, especially against Nitrag, right? Like when we barrel turn, he's going to fold like all of his underpair. So yeah, but you would. Part of wants to check for that reason because I'm going to get a second straight on the river from him all like when I check here a lot. Um, um, versus 50%, which is kind of the standard, I think. I might. If I, I might check here ten percent of the time, maybe twenty or something like that. I think we always bet quarter too small. Uh, we get value yeah, for seventy five too big too, right? Seventy, yeah. So I would just bet fifty percent again here. I think that sets up a really nice SPR to just rip river. Um, yeah, it's gonna be really nice. I think it's just fifty percent. Uh, checking just allows him to realize too much equity. We could still get value from worst hands. Uh, certainly in his range, it charges the max for uh, gut shots and an over a hand like ace king still might have floated um ace jack of diamonds and things like that so yeah i'm fucking definitely going 50 50 50 50 you spirit says bet 50 percent, but get ready to get served divorce papers because you're punting your mortgage payment <laughs> really are we punting by going 50 here no no but probably punts it by river he's convinced this guy's got ace queen he hates king queen uh, you're gonna to have that on these bigger jobs, but you can't be. Yeah, you can't play scared. So let's do it. We're gonna bet again. Do we need any protection? I mean, minor protection against Ace X and Backdoor Diamonds, but we have a good diamond. So, and there's a good diamond on the board, so we don't need very much protection, Mike. Uh, we're betting fifty. All right. Yep, fifty as well. Please. So Woo! we have two Ooh, real options I'm here. Scared it's gonna One go is to checkers. continue with our current plan of action, which is to bet big, but not too big, so that we get those two nice streets of value from jacks, tens, and nines. Uh, and the other option, if we were up against a more maniacal player, would be to check and go into a bluff catching mode. Uh, if our opponent is the type of player who's really wild, calling really wide, uh, pre-flop and on the flop, he's gonna have a lot of hands that are just drawing close to dead on the turn and if we check he might start bluffing with those hands we can go check call turn check call river and get the stack from a hand that has no equity and might fold to a turn bet uh, we're not playing against a maniac though we're playing against a tighter regular so we want to get our two chunky streets of value and i think the way to do that is to go for 50 percent pot again um, we also 80. want to get a little bit of protection if he's in there with ace five uh, ace three ace two because that now has a wheel draw Pocket six is also as a gut shot as well. That would continue again. Um, yeah, but looking at how we're sizing it up for the river as well, by betting half pot, we have a half pot size bet left on the river, which is easy yep. to get it in. And we don't need to go for the 75%. If this were a single raise pot, we may want to be using larger sizings to be able to get all in. But because we inflated the pot so much pre-flop, we can bet just 50% and still put ourselves in position to get all in on the river with a half pot bet. Uh, river is the seven of hearts. Changes nothing other than pocket sevens improving to a set. So what should we do? Should we check? Bet 10%, bet 25%, or go all in? <clears throat> Solver's got an interesting response with the king queen here. We are checking 30%. Uh, we are betting small 25%, and we're betting between this and 65%, 45%. So checking, pretty pretty decent option. Definitely an option. Mm, you have the cash game. Oh, we, we have, have the cash the game. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Well, <laughs> I forgot. I was like, how do you have? Oh, yeah. It's <laughs> Yeah. All right. Bet 25%, Skate says. On the... Bet 25% is a block. Easy, Jams. <laughs> yeah, bet fold here. Hot damn. With Throwing all my chips and a pack nines. of ramen for him to eat. Skate. <laughs> the SPR, we have, there's 100 big blinds in the pot. We're going to put out 25 more big blinds. Him jamming them fold? I can't even imagine. At that point, you just have to give the fucker your money. <laughs> and buy him a drink while you're at it. Like, well, no, have him buy you a drink if you lose. Yeah, like, at, hey, can you buy me a drink? The too worst well? you can, can do is have him buy a drink. The least you can do is buy me a drink. I just gave you my entire stack. I'm gonna try that. 
Um, what are we doing here, guys? I like 20. There is no 20. Raging out. So 25%. Okay. So we're seeing uh, 25%. I'd be that dude in the pod if that's our line. <laughs> Drinning. Hyo's finest is in the pot. Putting the rest of the chips in for gift. Let's get it. I'm yamming, he says. Where you at, man? You running this hand? Praying gaming? What are we doing? Just tell me what you're, what you're doing. This seven really does nothing. So if you were value betting, you're value betting. Nitreg never check raising with worse. So I think we just rip and get value from worse. King, queen, X. If you're up against ace, queen, it's whatever. Apollo says. Gotcha. No, it's all good, buddy. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Would, get to, <laughs> some people are just saying, fuck it. If, if he's got the ace, queen, yee, yee. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, so we're ripping here. Some of y'all playing cash like you're a blonde chick in a horror movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That's good. <sighs> All right, what are we Did doing here? Suicide hotline on speed dial. You're sleeping in your car. <laughs> Who is saying this shit? <laughs> one was Beats, one was East Spirit. The army is coming in with the zingers. Cats are ridiculous. All right, cool. This is, I mean... We literally set this up to do this. Why would you back out on a blank? Why would you get scared on a blank and not put the rest of the money in? Why are we trying to get not all the money? Get all the money or lose all the money. Get max value. Polarize your bet your bankroll strategy. Get all the money or lose all get the money. All the money, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Let's just make all the, it's snap jam. Easy. I'm never doing it. I'm not considering any uh, any other option at this point. It's all in. Every time, hundred percent. Let's go all in. Uh, yeah, Paula going all in too. What else shoot? So this is a spot where we've got our two streets of value. I'm not even thinking about any nines, anything else. Eights, sevens, not anymore, and sixes. Um, but some players will call three streets. True. Also, uh, we do beat queen jack suited, queen ten suited if he's playing that, and we lose to ace queen. Which he'll have more combos of because he'll have ace queen offsuit. But uh, overall, there are enough hands that we're beating. Plus, we're going to be chopping with king queen. Um, that I think it's worth going for all of it on the river. Betting 10% and betting $10. Yeah, you may get looked up by those jacks, 10s, 9s for that price. Maybe even for 25%, you'll get looked up by those hands. If you think your player's really tight and just won't be willing to call double the bet with those same hands uh you can bet a quarter pot and get looked up by those hands but against a regular who can put us on you know some combo draws with diamonds that miss some ace king of diamonds ace jack of diamonds ace ten of diamond type hands that bet flop at the back door draw bet turn when they improved and are follow following through on the river uh we are going to get looked up by the worst queens as well as the better queens and occasionally those uh, medium pairs as well so for those reasons i like going all in uh, we don't want to check and give our opponent the chance to check back. There just also aren't enough bluffs that he's going to have after calling flop <laughs> and calling turn. Uh, other than what, six, seven of diamonds, which has the pair, so it's going to check. So not enough bluffs in there, but some hands that could call with worse. So we go for it all. And uh, unfortunately, we run into a spirit. Exactly. Called it. And called it from the start. Kind of Delta cooler there on the flop. But overall against his range, I feel that this was the optimal way to play the hand. And uh, the sometimes way. you just... Uh, Run up against top of the range and literally cash yeah. in their fucking. Uh, Take the your licks. Thing is that we play the hand. Take them like a man. That we review it to make sure that uh, we had good reasons and sound decisions behind our actions, and we did. So anyway, that is going to wrap it up for this quiz. It's been Evan Jarvis for PokerCoach.com. Hope you enjoyed the quiz. Hope you learned a thing or two, and I look forward to seeing you. This is like the most standard story of cash of all time. Like this just is going to happen. And bye-bye 100 big blinds. Wreck and sucks. Now you got to go <laughs> back and try to run. It's unlucky Hollywood. though. Just like follow through. Hollywood just pulled the sixes and smashed his chair.
<laughs> this chair is actually i don't know if this chair makes it to uh through 2023 i beat the hell out of this thing it's on a, it's struggling this chair is fucking on the struggle bus that's amazing man like 2022 you've got a new computer and a desk 2023 to... you get some headphones and a chair pretty soon you're gonna be living the, the toe life i'm yeah i'm actually gonna make it one day hopefully that's right um, uh, Potter right. got griefed with us harsh two points on the flop, uh, pre-flop, but tens across the board otherwise. And we 32. shipped it. Um, and oh, you got a thirty. Yeah, we got a thirty-eight. Okay. Thirty-eight. GG's Congrats. Apollo. You got fucked pre-flop. That was too harsh of a score. Um, Prank Gaming says uh, if we win, roll them over. I can't just send you pre-C swag. The PC swag giveaway is going to be at the end when we include everybody from both chats. The quizzes right now are still for money. Do you want the five or do you want to roll it over or do you want to give sub? What do you want, my friend? The world is yours. Um, cool. But yeah, and uh, I'll wait for you to let me know. Uh, roll it over. Cool. So that's very kind of you, man. Thank you. Uh, so whoever, uh, if you win a quiz on my end, the next one, you'll get 10 bucks. Courtesy of Praying Gaming, roll it in over. Too rich to care, he says. Got Baller. Gee, Tina. Brawl, brawler. All right, cool. Um, we'll do another keyword. Are you trolling yet? Are you done trolling? Are you in a, like, where, oh, where are we I've at? Been friends for, like, five years. You know for a fact that I'm never trolling. Nah, you're never actually <laughs> done. True. Stop. Highlight of my day. <laughs> Trolling me, fucking bugging me. Yep. All right, what is it going to be? Come on, what is uh, it going to well, be? It was Army Strong last time, uh, and that cursed us, and we lost. Yep. So, Mafia Love. Mm, I'll take it. Uh, I'll allow it. Now you just reverse jinxed us. We're well played, sir. <laughs> the levels to your game are just unlimited. Unlimited game from Toe. Mafia love in the house. Stubbed toe. That is word. true. There is an asterisk. Technically, the Mafia did win, just not on this channel. We just won it on Six's <laughs> channel. <laughs> uh, All right, yeah, and quiz. If you win, yeah, and if you win on my end, it will be uh, $10 uh, to be won. Uh, we'll pick a quiz. We're going down eighteen eighty five. I think I owe 10 bucks on the one, too. I think Hollywood ran his over, too. Ooh, so the winner of the quiz will receive ten dollars. So that'd be fun. Uh that cash game quiz was a lot of fun. We have eighteen eighty five to. Oh yeah, I, I'm I'm there. I'm ready. Oh sweet. Yeah, we'll do a, a 10k live tournament with ace ten off on a monotone board. Hell yeah. Uh this is the first time I've come to one of these streams. How long do they usually go for? Uh we usually go for about two hours. Every yeah, Saturday about, starts at noon Eastern, and they're recorded on YouTube. If you miss it, you want to see anyone from the beginning or anyone we've done in the past. We've been here four years. I don't know. I'm losing three track years, time. something like that. Long time. Yeah, I've been doing this shit for too long. All right, um, let's do that. So we'll pick someone. Uh, give you guys another moment to get in there. I picked Brian. Did he already? Yeah, he won on this end. Dead to me. Yeah, he literally the last one. That's oh, he was your last time. contestant? And he won the ten the five bucks or whatever? Uh he what? rolled it over. And he won. Oh, day. so he, he actually didn't win. Meatball in the house. Meatball. Have a good day. Uh I gotta go to a basketball game pretty much after the stream. I gotta take my son. He has a game today, so never ends. No chill. Um, cool. Uh, oh, I didn't roll it. What the hell? I'm like booming out. So you got meatball. We have skater <clears throat> die. Hell yeah. Yeah, my son's in third grade, and he's like five one, five two in third grade. Usually the tallest kid on the court most times. Uh, he's got some work to do, but he's a beast. Thank you, Ren. I appreciate that. Uh, you won, Skate. You know what to do. Uh, game time. Uh, I'm ready whenever you are. Skate. Ready to go. Be ready. Stay frosty. Let's go. 
Here we have the Ace-10 offsuit. We're gonna raise it up. Big blind calls, queen, jack, seven, three spades. All right, how do we play monotone boards? Did you study the tournament uh, masterclass? Uh, I did. Well, if you did, you'll probably know the answer to this. Should we check, bet 3,000, bet 7,000, or bet 10,000? I did take this part of the tournament masterclass, JL, and I'm on like the best section right now, which is flop exploits. Mm. Flop Fun. exploits. Fun. All right, Teddy Grams is checking Duke Hoot with the three. Meatball says 3K, fucking easy. <laughs> easy game. <laughs> Door scoring 10. Near True Goat with the easy 3K. Everybody and... else going three. Uh, Skater Die is checking. Bet small nine, ace high, monotone boards. Raging out with the check. This quiz is worth $15. Two rollovers in a row? Not on my end. That's on toe side. It's $10. We've, we've, that was the, uh, you were the first person to win today. Hollywood rolled it over and then. Yeah. That was in history. Won, Not my shirt. And then. Uh, KB rolled it over. <laughs> 10 Bitcoin giveaway. You so nasty. I'd have like <laughs> thousands of Nice one, contrast. Congrats. Jolly checking. Delay CBAT mostly. Wait, I don't know. No, nope, you've already put your... You got it. You say check, you tag me. And just like in the real game, changing your answer in real life doesn't work at the table either. Soap is dope going with seven. Or, okay, check, check. Yep. Uh, so we're checking over here. Jelly scared, checking as well. Um, who is it? It's Meatball. Meatball, I think, was Benny. Meatball said, yeah, Meatball said 3K. Meatball says 3K, easy. That's right. That's right. That's right. Easy 3K for new. Yeah, no uh, 3K too. Easy. Yeah, if there was 2,500 out there, that'd be cool too. 3K. It's, 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 I'm never, ever, 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 ever checking here with this. No, no, no. We got the best zero, it's a 0% zero check. Like, 0% yeah. check. 0% check. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't even make a case for checking. Uh, we're just always going to bet here. Fold out all the um, trash. Yeah, just fold out all the trash. Uh, yeah, this, this is just going to be very... Why is checking back so bad? Because we're in position versus a big blind, super wide range. We're going to have flopped the nuts. This board traditionally pretty good for our range. We have a spade. We're in position versus a fucking big... Just take money. Put them in hell. None of that, but you can get better to fold too. Like, what does he do here with pocket eights, no spade? Pocket sixes, pocket fives, pocket fours, no spade. Yeah, you right? fall. Yeah, pocket you deny. Nines, no spade. Equity deny. And honestly, if you flopped a flush, if you flopped any portion of the top of your range, would you check it? You'd bet a queen, right? You should be betting a queen for protection and value. So if you if you do start checking here, are you going to check the nuts this deep effective? So that would mean you're effectively kind of capped. You're not going to want to slow play the nuts with seven bigs in a pot with 85 bigs behind. It's not going to happen. So when you start checking here, I think you're capped. Mm -hmm. You're not going to get all my stack. I'm not going to bluff my entire stack out of position. You well, might be able to bet that bad. eventually, but you're a bad example. Yeah, yeah. A different way. I'm a putt. Yeah, <laughs> but I don't know, man. 3K. I told you the trolling wasn't done. 3K it for never, everybody. Ever done. Yep, let's do it. All right. Snap. On monotone boards, it's fine to bet with a decently wide range, and usually you want to use a relatively small size. So this is a spot where our only bet size is going to be small. We're going to bet 3,000, and I think that's a fine, easy thing to do that's going to have you playing pretty close to GTO. So we go for the small bet size. Opponent calls. Turns a nine. So now we have all the draws, and the opponent checks. Should we check? Bet 5,000, bet 10,000, or bet 15,000. Check 5, 10, 15. What are you guys doing here? Bombs right, away, Dooku says. 10 for Doris, 10 for Contrast, 10 for Tino. 5 for Beats on the flushy board. Man, it's ace high, but I still want to go 10k near True Good says. 
Okay, now I check Very for sure. Time. See, I meant to check and then bet the flop instead. I would add 12K to the bet, Jason says. Meepo says, I think we should start sizing up a bit on the turn. I go 10K. Feel free to make fun of me. I kind of like that, Jason. I kind of I see what you're saying. I catch what you're I catch what you're throwing out there. That sounds a little bit better as well. We can one and done heads up. What? We're in position here. Um, one and done is better versus multi way when you continue. We're just okay. What are you doing here, Skate? Oh, you said check now. Carter's going ten. Uh, meatball going 10 as well. Meatball's going 10 and skate is checking. Alley oop, yeah. I'm going you alley ooping, yeah. I mean, um, we I'm I feel kind like of we... conflicted. Part of me wants to go five, too. Um, I'm definitely betting. I wonder if five just kind of too small. I know on a flushy boards we size down, um, but I would normally go 10 here. 10. Why would we go small and allow him to not put pressure on any of his range or anything like that? Um, it's a reasonable semi bluff. Uh, we can get value from. I mean, we just we're just gonna keep betting. Same size. A lot. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm betting. I'm betting. Oh, I'm, I imagine checking. I don't know. It feels horrible. Well, I wouldn't check. I would either bet smaller, a bet five, or bet ten. That's what I'm asking. I, I think I, I think I'm just most of my range. We're 83 effective here, a little bit deeper. I really don't know if five accomplishes a goddamn thing. Um, I don't know, it's man. No yeah, I feel like we pick up a lot of press. Yeah, ten five does not put pressure. He's getting four to one after the bet goes in, and he cannot fold. Mm -hmm. Literally, it would be a, a blunder to fold. Uh, getting four to one, uh, you meet jack every single hearts. jack. Never folding. Sheesh. It's getting four to one. It's it's meeting MDF, and know, you're gonna have a lot of like a thirty to one dog. <laughs> yeah, but you can still be just. I don't know, man. You don't know. I mean, yeah, some people just stab small with like deuces with the fucking spade or something like that. Then you're just getting ran over. Like I, you just get ran over if you overfold to getting four to one with the pair. Um, but yeah, we're gonna check on our end, and I think we should be batting something. Um, but. We'll see. Maybe Jonathan likes check here. We're going to uh, let's, let's do it. Good luck. So now we, yeah. to some extent, lack Thank showdown God. value, but we have two reasonable draws. I realize the ten's not always good when you make a, a flush. You pick up equity. The straight's usually good. Bet. If you do bet the turn and get raised, we can just easily fold. And your opponent does have to be, or the opponent has to be a little bit cautious raising us because we could just be sitting here with the ace of spades, X of spades, right? So. I think we get to bet here, and I think we want to use a medium range. or a big size. We want to start polarizing our range to some extent, essentially saying we either have, well, essentially we either have the nuts or nothing, right? And the nothing is all going to be, or mostly going to be decent high equity hands. So I think this is a spot to go for uh, 10,000 or 15,000 bets, just to put our opponent in bad, a really bad spot with all of their non-flushes. We go 10. Opponent calls. I can already tell you, I'm going to be bluffing most rivers. But this time we improve. <laughs> River is a five of spades, and the opponent checks. Should we check, bet 12,000, bet 24,000, or bet 36,000? Uh, interesting enough, this hand in the solver, 35% uh, check, which is surprising, 35% bet small, and 22% bet the size we did. So interesting. Mixes. Mixes all options. Yep. I can see it. And it's important to know in some of these spots where you feel like you made a mistake and it's a tough decision, you're not, you're probably not always making a mistake, man, because Especially EVs run close. Yeah, EVs are going to run very close between your decision. Yeah, you block King 10, got a decent spade. Yep. Uh, what are we doing here? 70% check or bet small? Uh, I don't think we have to worry about him having flush because he would probably check raise flop. He's going to be check raising some flushes. He need, he's still going to have a check raise range here, of course. Yep. But I don't think he's necessarily capped when he calls, but yeah. I want to bet 24K. It's flush, and I'm greedy. I'm targeting some <laughs> flush for some BS 2 pair crap. 12K for contrast. Size and down. 24K. 12K. Okay, cool. Check Skate. for jelly. Um, don't see any value. 
What are you doing here, Skate? Come on, brother. You be in them study groups, you know what to do. Monkey Bear says, does he have the ace for king of spades? We have good blockers, and he would three-bet some of that. I would value town pot. Pot! <laughs> FL Poker Day says, a million percent check. Damn. Somebody has some PTSD. Uh, okay, cool. Cra uh, 24. All 24 right. for me, Paul. 24 for skate as well. I mean, am I crazy? I'm like literally a 1 million percent never checking here. I'm 24 every time. Yeah, me too. 24 fold. Forget raised. Fuck it. 24 fold. I, I mean, I can't imagine checking. This is way too high up. Um, yeah. And you could certainly have something like Jack 8 uh, with the 8 of spades and feel compelled to call. Uh, any nine of spades, right? Uh, just worse spades, man. Queen eight with the queen with with the eight of spades, and you're griefing it, right? I don't know. I'm just I'm getting paid. Yeah, two. Pairs, it probably doesn't even straights, horse flushes. I'll call. You know, it's funny. You only probably get check raised by the ace of spades. Like I don't think the king yeah, of spades is check raises king. you. Yeah. Like yeah, because you probably doesn't don't get you called worse represent. Time. So I don't think you like have to worry about getting check raised bluffed here either, and you just get snapped by worse hands. Worst uh, value hand. So uh, 24 for me. 36 feels like it might be Too a much. stretch. Uh, 12 push out. Small. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yep. yeah. You're like you should about to say, you might start pushing out the six of spades, right? Yep. The seven of spades with that size. So yep. Third, uh, 24 for me. 24 me for skate as well. Let's do it. 24 for meatball as well. Please. This is definitely an interesting uh, spot. These Super smaller. close. Nine points. It's the same thing. We have the best hand almost always. The question is, how much will the opponent pay us with a weaker flush and I can or non-flush hand? Spot, so. And I think the answer is usually not a lot. But you don't want to go so... I mean, nine points isn't a points. wrong answer. So I think we need to go something like 12,000 or 24,000. And maybe the right size is actually more like 18,000 in this scenario. Yes. So, you know... Up, both those answers are pretty good. You don't want to go giant in this spot. I think our giants bets or our pot size bets need to be very much reserved for our ace high flushes and maybe our king high flushes. But then our, our 10 is definitely good enough to value bet. If you're not value betting this hand, you're probably not betting quite aggressively enough and not going forth quite it is. enough value. So I think in this spot, a small bet or a medium bet is going to be pretty nice. We do go 12 and the opponent just folds. Uh, you can see here in the solver, uh, never, ever, 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 checking. Check. Nope. Spade. Uh, with the 10, it is mostly betting 60%. For the ace of spades, it is betting twice pot. <laughs> Try to get called by the fucking king of spades. Mm -hmm. Greed out for it. Fuck it. Um, could we get a 25? Uh, 29. All oh, piss. Well, all oh, piss. Uh, good try, Skate. Uh, it was the turn to kill, uh, the turn to kill us, yeah. You hate to uh, see what's it. What's the calling with? I mean, a wide range, man. Look. A bunch of worse flushes, or uh, these are, what is this? Good try, my uh, friend. A bunch of Queen X. Uh -oh. Particular two pairs, straights, some worse flushes. Uh, yeah. All right, let's do this giveaway. There's the range. All right, let's away. do this final one. Yep. So what we'll do is uh, we'll come up with a keyword. Uh, should we just do something real simple so it's easy for everybody? You want to just yeah. do like PC? Keyword PC. Is... Oh, I was going to do free shit. Oh, I just got PC in there. PC is the keyword over here. You can do for sure. Let me change free shit to PC. <laughs> so, guys, uh, sure, what we're going to do. Good. Sorry. How did you grief that, Teddy, already? You put CP in the chat. Jesus. Uh, no, PC in the chat. Uh, so, what we'll do is we're going to draw someone for a free month of premium. Uh, if you win, you're going to go heads up in a flip situation. Versus someone in the Toast chat, and then that person, whoever wins the flip, will get to choose between the membership or the free uh, merchandise, and the per other person will get the other prize. Is that fair? How does that sound? Yeah, that's good. So, I didn't hear it. Okay, but cool. I'm with it. 
Yep, we're going to roll with it. Um, so if you get picked from here, you're at least going to be winning something. Cool. Get in there. PC, PC, get in there. Give you guys another opportunity. And while you're waiting, I always have to throw in uh, the link to the Discord, man. The Discord's been going great. Uh, a lot of study groups. Uh, the forums are great in there. Um, so, guys, make sure you check out the PC Discord. We have Brad Wilson coming to the Cash Game study group this tuesday at noon eastern i've got some certain things for the group i want him to help with and talk about in regards to our databases and then on wednesday michael acevado is going to be in the wednesday study group at 10 a.m with luis so join that discord you can uh find everything in the events there and it'll be super cool uh to, to, to make sure to reset so all users everybody is man what do you see no, no, no. You got to type in chat. Nah, you got to type in chat to get in. I'm not. Nah. Nah, you got to type. So all users can enter giveaway. Do I need to do something else? I sent you, Contrast. I don't know. I sent you on fucking two, two Who's not? on one seven. I'm caught up, man. Is there Did anybody you, not people? in here? So if you, do, if you see your name in here... Um, well, oh, I got you. I'm going to add you. I'll just, oh, I see what you're saying. Because of the old giveaway winners. So if you don't reset eligibility, it does that. Fuck. What? So for your past winners, they're not going to be eligible in Nightbot unless you reset the eligibility. Where do I do that? I don't even see that as an option. Here. It's a little button uh, right above users. I don't have that button. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, there it is. So, every, I mean, and now everybody's fuck it. It's this. I mean, fuck it. Um, I'm just going to enable it for everybody. I'm just going to make everyone eligible. Yep, so so did I. All right, cool. I'm going to make everybody eligible who's here. There. Um. All right, we're going to roll it. Uh, you must confirm in the chat, though, since yes. I think there may be somebody. So confirm in the chat if you want it so you can uh, get in there and be here for the flip. Uh, yes. All right. Um, I am ready when you are. I am ready as well. Let's do it. Drum roll. Drum roll. T Dragon Punk. Ooh. Legend. I'm excited. Who's it going to be? Boxer. Let's get it. Are you here, bro? Boxer, type in chat if you're here. He has to type though. That's I'm always afraid that people aren't here because I make everybody. He's here. Let's fucking go. I'm pretty I sure Punk's here. Punk, you there? I don't see you responding. Pretty sure. Yeah. Did I call him Boxer? God, Boker Punks. Let's get it. Give Congrats, my friend. Know. I don't know if. Yep, there he is. He's here. Cool. We're good. All right, now uh, we Who calls do it? the coin flip. Oh boy, the coin flip. Uh, heads or tails? Let me see if I can get this working on this browser. First person to see uh, it. Meepaw, right? I can't gift sub you. I think it's because your subscription's like up to date right now. It says not available for this user. All right, we're going to let these guys flip now. Now, whoever wins gets to choose between the one month subscription. PC uh, premium subscription, <clears throat> or they get to get the swag back. Swag back. Swag back. Um, has anybody called it yet? Neither one has called it. Uh, he says heads. All right, your tails. Boker, your tails. Uh, wait a minute, Tell before you actually do it. I want to sweat it. So uh, one second. Let me hit the multi-stream or just watch your channel. I'm going to watch your channel. All right, we're, we're watching ready. the flip. Whoops. There we go. All right, Tyler, we're sweating the toe. Gonna throw, who we're going to throw it to next. Yep. Uh, let me make sure it looks good on my camera. It looks good enough. Let's Here's go. The flip. Good luck. Tails never fails for everything. Don't say anything until I see it. Good luck, sir. One time for the one time. Tails never fails! You got it. Let's go! 
So well he gets done, a choice. The membership or the swag pack and and uh Yeah, let us Bunko know get the want? opposite. Boker, what do you want? You want the flip? Do you want the PC subscription or do you want the swag? Let me know. Oh snap choice run pure, dude. How good are you fucking running? Jeez. I wish I ran this good at anything. PC sub here to swag pack. Shot clock. It's a it's a global shot clock, and your hand will get folded, and you don't win anything. Uh oh, teaching a punch. No, I'm kidding. Both. <laughs> he wants to, to get sub. both. No, I'm kidding. He wants to sub. I got you, man. Uh, make sure to whisper me, um, and I'll get you set up there. Uh, yeah, same me. thing for punk. Punk, hit me up and let me know your address so I can send you the swag pack. You know how to find yeah. it. And I'll do this. Got it. Drop toe this. Bang, 55 months as well over there. Um, all right, cool, guys. That is going to do it. I uh, appreciate you guys. It was a fun first uh, study stream of the year for me back. Uh, so appreciate you guys coming out. Uh, we're going to try to keep making this better, uh, come up with some new ideas and things like that. And, uh, yeah, you know where to find us. We'll be back next week. Make sure to give my friend uh, God's Big Toe a follow. And uh, yeah, let me make sure to give that shout out. Nice to see you as well, Ren, man. It was good to see everybody. Um, I also uh, won't be streaming on Global anymore. I may, I'm pretty sure I made that announcement on the study stream uh, on their uh, channel, but I don't know if I've announced it on mine. Um, I'm, yeah, he I'm tapped be out. He couldn't catch me in the jackpot. So <laughs> I was one just behind. Dropped it. Of a bitch. I gave I know, away more scared. money. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to be uh, swimming streaming exclusively on my channel doing the ignition stuff so uh not a, not not bad um it's really good news actually uh, all right so all of the links are in the chat discord for poker coaching join that lots of free shit uh youtube if you want to watch this one from the beginning or anyone we've ever done in the past all of them there we've had a lot of guests on this stream over the years affleck tristan wade evan jarvis Greg Raymer, Jesse Sylvia, Ben Andrew, like the list goes on and on and on and on, on beef is, all these things. So you can go check all those out. Cast your command for sixes, give them some love. And I think that's it. Yep, that's it, guys. Uh, be sure I'll be back tomorrow putting in a bunch of hours. Also, spend a little bit of time talking about the uh, cool little experience we had to do a few years ago at the movie. That's coming out. It's going to be syndicated. I, I met with the uh, director last night, which was super cool. And he said it's going to make it out to all the PBSs nationwide. And they're saying he might win an Emmy for it. And he was fucking pumped. So I'm happy mm -hmm. about that. It'd be super cool. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm still going to be streaming, uh, playing on other sites. I just can't stream for any other channels. And I'll be mostly showing the Iggy stuff. They understand. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be playing other sites, but just no streaming with Global or anywhere else. So, good news. Um, all right, guys. I am at Oh, shit. Who did you say we're kicking a host to? I didn't. I've been scrolling through, and it's like a bunch of people I don't know. So, I'm not sure who to pick. I, I'm, I'll probably have somebody. Give me two seconds and see who's at the bottom of the list. We always try to help out the... Nobody's fucking streaming. Nobody. Holy shit. Oh, bl uh, Blind Guy Poker. Blind Guy's out there. Uh, I'm down with Blind Guy. Blind Guy 789. All right, guys. <laughs> give Blind Guy some love. Uh, I mean, that yeah. stream is growing. He's good people. Uh, he's a nice nice guy, man. He's very he's crazy friendly. to watch. He is literally yeah. blind. Change the world. Literally blind. Sorry, what sorry. Sorry. It's and someone's numbers. helping him, and he's multi-tabling. It's like, you got to hit. This is your hand here. This is your hand here. This is your hand here. And he has the same yeah, time intense. bank as the rest of us. Like, what the fuck? It's, yeah, it's the most impressive shit of all time. Make sure to show that guy some love. And guys, I'll be back tomorrow. Take care, and good luck on the streets. Take care, everybody. I'm out. Yeah. Right. Uh, sixes was too fast. We got, like, five seconds to kill. While oh, yeah. The, uh, raid happens. Yeah, I'm doing and it as well. And we out. Bye. Yeah, bye. <laughs>